Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. We are back. So I have some really fun tips that I have on how to bathe your dog. Surprisingly, it's actually not that easy to bathe your dog, especially when you have a large dog like a Greyhound, and especially when you have a dog that is non-compliant. They simply don't really like baths. So let's get into it, but before we actually get into the tub, I'm going to tell you the things that you will need in order to have a smooth bathing experience. So here are the things that you need, and you don't need to use all of them, but these have definitely been super helpful for me. So the first thing is, when you bathe your dog, you're going to need to have a collar on them. It's up to you on whether you want to leash them as well. You want to hold onto that leash while you bathe them, but make sure that collar is waterproof. So actually Daphne's normal collar during the day when I walk her is not waterproof. It's kind of, I don't know what material it's called, but it's great. But when I'm bathing her, I use this other material, which is like a plastic or, um, yeah, but it, it's waterproof. So I will take a better photo and put the description below on where I got it. But any collar that maybe you don't really care about, maybe it can be material, but I prefer waterproof on her. And then you will need a shampoo. And the shampoo that we use is this brand from Petals and Tails. Um, I'm gonna bring it and show it close to you. And the, the scent that we have is Exotic Orchid. And the thing is, this is hemp infused. So hemp is meant to be super moisturizing for your pet's skin and their fur. And the thing I love the most about this shampoo is it is so, like it smells so good. And who doesn't like the smell of orchids? So I think they have um, an orchid scent, they have a rose scent, they have a lavender scent, and maybe a couple more. But um, so far, I love the rose. I have actually not tried the orchid, so even though you can't smell it through the video, I will try and describe to you to the best of my ability how it smells like. But anyway, um, we use this hemp infused CBD pet shampoo. You can use any shampoo that you want. Um, if your pet has a really super dry skin condition, then obviously you need a medicated shampoo, but this is what we use. Another thing that's super important is you should get a licky mat. And I'm gonna show you what it is once we get into the tub. Um, if you don't have a licky mat, you can just kind of put some peanut butter along the tile if you don't mind cleaning that up afterwards. But I don't particularly love wiping oily things off my tile, so I don't like doing that. But this is the peanut butter we use for Daphne. And just one more tip is please try and get peanut butter that is organic and doesn't have other chemical or um, artificial flavorings for your dog. So this one is from Trader Joe's, it's super cheap and all it has in it is literally organic Valencia peanuts. And that is it. There is no other oil, there is no other chemical. That is all that is. Also, do not forget a towel because as soon as your dog gets out of the shower or the bathtub or whatever thing you have, they will definitely need to be um, wrapped up in this towel. You don't want a wet dog walking around your house. And this is a tip that I had not seen. This is what I came up with. I'm sure other people are using it too. Um, is that when I first bathed Daphne, she was so anxious and she was just slipping and sliding around everywhere in the bathtub. And she was panicking even more because she was slipping and sliding around. So what I did the second time that I bathed her, I put down a yoga mat. You can get yourself a cheap yoga mat from Target or Walmart or wherever you want to get it. And I will just put this down on the bath um, tub before we get in. And so she feels a little more steady. Um, it does, the water kind of does pull because of the way that the mat is, but I still use it and it's super useful. So here we are in my bathroom in New York City. We all have very small bathrooms. Mine is actually bigger compared to a lot of them. And you're gonna have a bathtub and you're gonna have some shower curtains. And I, what I do is I'll kind of take off the few uh, rings on the end of the front of the shower curtain so that I can go in and I can come out and I have my helper who kind of calms her down, just basically holds her collar and directs her to the licky mat, which is that blue thing there with the peanut butter on it. So 
This is the hard part, getting her actually in the bathtub. And what I do is I will lift just her front and encourage her to go in. If your dog is being incredibly non-compliant, then you need to make this a bit of a project. So you should try and give them treats inside the bathtub for a couple days or even feed them meals inside the bathtub before you bathe them. So try and create a positive atmosphere in the bathtub so they're not panicking or stressed out. So wish me luck. This is going to take a few cuts, but we're going to try to get her inside the bathtub. Okay. Make sure you have a shower head. This will help you from your back breaking. And just use warm water, make sure it's not too hot, just lukewarm, because I heard that if it's too hot, they can make your greyhound faint. So, warm water. So this, this is the bathing process. She is very destructive by the wiki mat. And I'm very busy trying to work quickly because you don't want to keep them in here very long. And the very important point is make sure you start from the back to the front because when you bathe their faces, when, they, when you wash their faces, they will do the whole shaky shaky thing and you're going to be very wet. And you want to prevent that from happening until the very end. Hard work, hard labor. Gotta be done. You've done the hardest part and we have a wet, sad dog here. Daphne's not very happy, but she did it like a champion. She took it in like a champ. And now we're just drying her and she, she loves being dried off. So just enjoy drying your dog off. So that is how I bathe Daphne. I really, found that the way that I do it now is the best way for me. It really works. It really helps. She's less stressed. I think the tip for this way of bathing is really you got to get everything ready before um, you get the dog into the bathtub. So everything is smooth. You just bathe and the actual process of bathing is probably like five minutes. Try and do it as quickly as you possibly can. Get those hands in there and just scruff and scratch and fluff up the bubbles, whatever you need to do. Um, and make sure, I said this before, but I'll say it again, important points need to be repeated. Start from the back, because when you start from the front, they will do the shaky, shaky thing and you'll be wet and they might panic. Just start from the tail all the way up to the front. And, you know, sometimes in the winter, if it's cold, I will use a hairdryer to dry her off as well. But right now it's summer, the temperature in my apartment is fine. Um, so I've just towel dried her off. And as you can see, she's a massive fan of this licky mat. This licky mat is probably like five or six dollars and it's the best thing I bought. I, I also use this when I leave her at home for separation anxiety training. And I have a separate video and I'll put a link in for that. But anyway, this is how I bathe her. She used to absolutely hate baths, um, but now she's very tolerant and she's very good at it, I think. And every time we do it, 
the better it becomes. And I would say we bathe her once every quarter. So I do it every three to four months. And if she's extra dirty, then just do it again. And if she's clean, then just wait another couple of weeks. It's totally up to you. Greyhounds only have one coat of fur. They are very clean. They don't really smell compared to other dogs. So yeah, anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please give us a like. Do not forget to subscribe. And for everyone who has already subscribed, super thankful for you guys and all the comments that you make. Please let me know if this was helpful. Please add any more tips that you have about how you bathe your greyhound or how you bathe your large dog or your dog, whatever size or personality. Um, thanks for being with us. God bless and we'll see you next time.